I suppose that when you name a segment after fecal matter, it's only natural that people are going to get uncomfortable if that segment doesn't occur regularly. So with apologies for the long constipated hiatus, we're happy to squeeze out not one but two trips down Tripe Turnpike in a special double edition of How Bullshit Is It? So tell us, Heath, what's the first egregious misappropriation of neurons that you have for us today? Okay, tonight we'll be talking about the ancient Chinese art of cupping therapy. Okay, all right. I, I, but uh, don't we normally tackle these in alphabetical order? Uh, yeah, normally. Um, but after all the hickey-covered Olympians a few weeks back, and since not too many good pseudosciences start with K, we're going to abandon the alphabetical thing for the moment and tackle the traditional Chinese medicinal practice of cupping. You can imagine it starting with a K if you like. Okay, all right. So we're going to practice cupping, you and I. Uh, well, maybe later, but okay, we so just talk now. Other than manually gauging the volume of a ball sack, what is cupping? Uh, the less useful form of cupping comes to us from traditional Chinese medicine, often called TCM by people trying to make it sound less bullshitty. It involves heating the air inside a cup and then applying the cup to a patient's skin, causing a vacuum. Uh-huh. And why would anyone do that or want that done? That would be lack of a sound critical thinking curriculum in public schools. Amen to that, brother. So, okay, what are gullible people made to believe is happening here? Well, according to practitioners, the vacuum, when applied to the proper acupuncture points, can help unblock and realign chi flow. Of course it can. Okay, mm -hmm. so acupuncture points don't exist. Chi isn't a thing. The cupping is used. So is this bullshit cubed? Uh, yeah, at a minimum. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, are you saying that like Olympians like Michael Phelps are doing this shit to unblock their chi flow? Uh, possibly. But the beauty of a medical procedure that produces absolutely no benefit is that it produces an equal lack of benefit for all ailments. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, cupping practitioners can sprinkle in words like toxins and free radicals to claim that their treatment cures cancer. And they're no less right than they are on the chi flow thing. So, I mean, but do they do they really do that? Do, do you really doubt that they do that? N not even a little. Yeah. I guess. Well, uh, granted, the cupping cures cancer crowd is distinct minority, even among TCM nuts. But common claimed benefits of cupping include detoxification, clearing the colon, shitting, uh, mm -hmm. reducing scar tissue improving varicose veins, and helping activate the arteries and skin. Whatever the fuck that yeah, means. Yeah, no shit. Okay, so I think we can all agree that one's chi flow isn't being unblocked. So when one does place one of these vacuum cups over one's skin, what actually is happening? Well, you're pulling blood up towards the surface of the skin and temporarily reducing blood flow. Uh -huh. The notorious cupping hickeys are the result of capillaries expanding, fluid accumulating in your skin tissue, and the rupturing of blood vessels near the skin surface. So, bruises. Bruises, yeah. That's okay. Exactly. Um, yep. Aren't bruises bad? They are. They are. Oh, how bad? Um, well, generally speaking, they're pretty much harmless. Uh, most of the time, cupping bruises are minor and go away in a couple of days. You just look like an idiot. But... They do carry an increased risk of skin infections, so they're, all right, they're not well, great. I mean, obviously, we, we know that all pseudo-medicine carries risks, right? People will use that instead of real treatment. People will think problems are solved when they're not. People will waste money. People will reinforce magical thinking that they'll then bring to the ballot box. But when you set all of that aside, how harmful is cupping like compared to other pseudosciences? Uh, well... You, you don't usually get bruises when you're dowsing, so uh, well, it's okay, yeah, worse. but I mean, but compared to shit like chiropractic and miracle mineral salts, this is like relatively harmless, right? Uh, well, uh, here, here's the thing: up until now, we're only talking about beginner level cupping. Um, if we really want to answer the "what's the harm" question definitively, we'll have to talk about uh, wet cupping, the um, huh? advanced level. Sounds stuff. pretty sexy. It's not. Okay, so what is it? It's the same thing, but they also cut you. It still sounds sexy. Okay, well, picture an old Chinese guy bruising you with a hickey, pulling the cup off long enough to cut the bruise with a scalpel, 
then placing another suction cup over the cut to suck out your blood. And then, if you're not bleeding fast enough, applying pressure around the newly inflicted wound to speed up the process. So, bloodletting. Uh, yeah, but sexy bloodletting. Uh-huh, okay, uh, granted. But isn't bloodletting also bad? It is. It, it very like, much is. Like, killed George Washington levels of bad? Uh, exactly those levels of bad, yeah. Okay, I, I, I mean, I, I feel like... Maybe I'm confused on the history, but I feel like we stopped doing that round about the time we killed George Washington with it. Did these guys not get that memo? Well, uh, stupid persists one way or the other. But adding to the difficulty here is the fact that wet cupping is endorsed in the Quran and several of the Hadith. Oh, shit. So a lot of Muslims see the practice as a religious prescription. Okay, wait, is that the part where they talk about cutting your hands and feet off on opposite sides? Is it? Uh, no, no, uh, totally different type of bleeding. Okay, gotcha. So, just to be clear, there is no legitimate use for cupping? Well, uh, there, there's still BDSM. That's important. I, no legitimate medical use. But some doctors recommend BDSM. Uh, oh, oh medically. right. And, well, I guess the only question left to ask is... How bullshit is it? Okay, um, I'd say it's Ryan Lochte after a gas station burrito in Brazil. <laughs> Levels of bullshit. <laughs> a lot of bullshit. All right, well, well, I guess we can pause for a quick break to let everybody digest that first pile, but we'll be back in a moment with yet another heaping helping of bullshit. And we're back for the encore edition of this segment that was already about number two before we even got to the second part. So tell us, Heath, what insult to inference will we be tackling next? That's me, actually. Oh. Oh, my bad, dude. Um, usually uh, Heath does the how bullshit is it segments. Yeah, yeah, but he said I could do this one. Are, are, are you sure? Because he's been doing this segment for a really long time. I know he likes... Yep. To... Said I could do it. Okay. Now, 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 you know that he does a bunch of, like, um, like research and, and shit beforehand, right? Like, knows a bunch of stuff about the thing that we're going to talk about. Yeah, before. totally prepared. All right. All right. Yeah, no, I, I didn't mean to impugn your integrity. I was just, just, just making sure. So, okay. So, we just kind of cheated our way through K, which puts us on L. So, tell us, Eli, what insult to inference will we be tackling next? Lyme disease, comma, fucking away. I, I, I see. And um, how bullshit, bullshit is, 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 is it? Not at all. Totally legit medical practice. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. It isn't. It yes, isn't. It is. It, it, I, it's, it said so on a how bullshit is it segment. And you told me those were super well researched. That, that so doesn't like, count. Are you calling you a liar? Because like, you're my friend. And I don't Eli, like people we, calling Why do we liars. even have the whiteboard if you're going to do shit like this? It, it, you said... I needed a well-researched source before I got to make any medical claims. And you just said, how bullshit is it, was well-researched. Well, that's Shit. not... That's um, how... hold, hold on. Um, I just walked in. Sorry to interrupt you guys, but um, I, I think you gave me the wrong movie. I, I watched the whole thing, and Julie Andrews never puts her umbrella in there. I mean, let alone opened it, but nothing like oh. that at all, Eli. What, what were you... This... Must have been the thing of a different. Did you watch it a second time? Hold, wait, Let's hold see. on a second. Hold on a second. L Let's go find that other video right now. No, Heath, on, go no. Heath, Who wants to go outside? Heath, while you're outside. here, did you tell Eli he could do the how bullshit is it segment? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, he said it would be help with the Lyme disease therapy thing. And according to Noah, Nor Noah says it will be. No, now. that is not what I said. That's what you implied. No, you know what? Because technically, this isn't a how bullshit is it segment until the second time I get all echoey and ask you how, how bullshit, bullshit is it. No, 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 no that doesn't not at all, count. Not at all. No, no, you hit the, the echoey button, 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 that doesn't, doesn't count. count. Doesn't, doesn't say anything, anything about, about buttons, buttons and when we can hit them on the whiteboard. God damn it. I fuck away your light disease duck. Uh, okay, okay, you don't, you don't really, really have, have a video, video of Mary Poppins, Poppins fucking her umbrella, do you? Because, I mean, I was a little excited. No. But I have me doing it in a dress. Okay. Do you do poon full of sugar? I do chin chimney. 